everyone welcome back uber partners with splend to put 500 polestar 2 drivers on the road so from october uber and splend are distributing 500 electric vehicles to drivers an effort to incentivize the uptake of evs in australia so this will be a new south wales in australia this push to electrify new south wales uber fleet comes four months after the company announced a 26 million push to encourage drivers to go green and to pick up an electric car before then uber sets up an ev hub including information and incentives for drivers who want to go electric now in collaboration with splend an australian ride share vehicle loan company the company has taken things a step further by actually providing drivers with an electric car. And we do actually have a statement from Matt Keynes, and I quote, Australians' transition to electric vehicles is a priority at all levels of government, and we're encouraged to see this kind of collaboration in a private sector that is bringing more EVs to the city streets and faster. This was said by the New South Wales Minister of Energy, Matt Keane. The New South Wales government is proud to have worked with Splend as a recipient of our New South Wales Drive Electric Funding Program. And of course, we look forward to seeing more wide shares trip happening in EVs in months and years ahead. Splend was a recipient of New South Wales government's Drive Electric Fund Program, scoring $1.8 million on top of gigantic $150 million to the companies raised in April. So here's how it works from today. Eligible Uber drivers can now sign up for over 500 Polestar 2s using Splend's flexi own plan. Now owner of the dedicated page, the standard range single motor and long range single motor models are available, but not the long range dual motor unfortunately. So EV drivers will benefit from a 50% reduction in Uber in the Uber service fee up to $6,000 a year and Splend will provide a specific price for a home charger. Now Polestar 2s meet the requirement for comfort, premium rideshare categories and of course you don't need to pay for fuel. Now the majority of Uber 500 electric vehicles will deliver to New South Wales before the end of the year. Availability is subject to Splend's credit check and of course pre-approved condition. And of course the Uber service discount accounts is available until June 2025. Now additionally in 2023 the ride sharing company will launch a new comfort electric riding category for when you want to quick lift somewhere in an EV. So it's really good to see that more post stars will be getting on the road in Sydney, in Australia, around the world, especially in Uber vehicles. This gives more people an experience in a Polestar. This will bring Polestar closer to people in the world. Regular people are just taking a taxi. And by experiencing this car for themselves, then they can possibly even go on to learning more about the car, test drive. If they are fascinated by the car, maybe even buy the car, depending on how much they like the car, just from sitting back and having a taxi ride in the car. It just pushes Polestar forward even more. And I'm happy to see that. And in other Polestar news as well, ACT Utility secures another 40 EVs for customers, including Tesla vehicles, Polestar vehicles, and MGs. Australia Capital Territory Utility says that it has secured 40 electric vehicles for sales to customers through its EV hub, including models from Polestar, Tesla, and MG. At a time when electric vehicles delivery are stretching out for months due to global shortage, a lucky few can Barnes will be able to drive away in an EV as early as next month. So the news comes a month after the organization who's using the EV hub delivers its first EV. It started with an Hyundai Lunique 5 or Ionic 5 and the Cabaro coupled Mike and Annie of Griffith. So included amongst new range of EVs are 14 Polestar 2s. 14 ladies and gents. Other models include Tesla Model 3, MG ZS EV, Nissan Leaf, Hyundai Kona and Kia Noto. Deliveries will be available between now and mid-December. I know what you might be thinking, 40 cars do not seem like a lot of vehicles. And absolutely, it's, it, it's not a lot of vehicles, but it is something. It is something worth talking about because anything that includes Polestar vehicles is worth talking about. Anything that includes Polestar vehicles getting into the hands of customers is still worth talking about on this channel. And that won't change. Even if the numbers are as small as 14 Polestar, I'm still curious about 14 Polestars being 
included and delivered to new customers, new people getting their hands on Polestar, experiencing the company, experiencing the car for their own reason. And it is a wonderful car. This car was designed primarily by, by Volvo and then later adopted by the Polestar company. This car has brilliant engineering behind it. Polestar and Volvo are known for making brilliant cars, safe cars, cars with comfortable drive. Volvo is known for making cars like this, known for making wonderfully safe cars. Maybe not the best looking cars, but everything is changing with Polestar. Polestar is now taking the philosophy and idea that Volvo has enlisted within their company brand and is taking it into a new level by introducing a stylized sporty addition to their vehicles. So imagine a so imagine a vehicle that has all the safety features and comfort of a Volvo, but has some sleek style as a Polestar. That's what people are getting with the Polestar 2, the Polestar 3 coming out next year, the Polestar 4 coming out a year after that, Polestar 5, Polestar 6 Roadster. That's what they're going to get. Safe cars, wonderful drive, but cars that look extremely good, extremely handsome cars, beautiful cars. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching until the end. Leave a like, leave a comment, and of course, I'll see you in our next video.